Massive Region 2738 begins to rotate off of the Earth-facing Sun over the next few days. And get ready, because Earth is about to enter the Lyrid Meteor Shower. Those stories and more in the news this week. Space weather this week settles down just a bit, even as Region 2738 continues to impress us. As we flip to our front side sun, you can see that massive region there. It's continuing to fire off small solar flares, but it's not a risk for major radio blackouts right now. However, it is boosting the solar flux up well into the marginal range for amateur radio and shortwave radio and emergency responders. So enjoy some decent radio propagation on Earth's day side. After that, we're not seeing very much in terms terms of solar storm prospects. In fact, if we flip to our backside sun, we do see a couple small coronal holes that will be rotating into Earth view here in the next few days, and it might bring us a little bit of fast solar wind and possibly a little bit of aurora in about two weeks. Switching to our moon, we are now passing through the full moon phase, with the full moon being on the 20th. So you night sky watchers, if you want to watch dim objects in the sky, you're going to need to check your local rise and set times. Now you night sky watchers get ready because we're about to get hit with the Lyrid meteor shower and this happens as Earth moves through the cometary debris field. Now the meteor shower will happen between the 19th and about the 25th with the peak being on the 23rd. We could see meteor rate visibilities as high as four an hour in the northern hemisphere and even higher in the southern hemisphere, but you're going to have to watch that full moon that happens on the 20th because that could severely reduce your visibility. So make sure you look for dark skies and you get out of the bright lights of the city if you expect to catch it. Switching to your solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, we are still getting hit by sporadic pockets of fast solar wind from these tiny coronal holes, but they're really not amounting to all that much. So at high latitudes, NOAA is expecting unsettled conditions with up to about a 20% chance of a minor storm but over the next couple days and then things should begin to settle down. At mid latitudes, we're only expecting normal to unsettled conditions with about a 15% chance of active conditions, but again, things should settle down pretty rapidly and after that it looks like it's going to be probably about another two weeks before we get a chance for a decent solar storm. Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the coming week, region 2738 is going to be disappearing behind the sun's west limb here in the next couple days, and unfortunately it's going to take most of its solar flux right along with it. This may make GPS users very happy because you guys like the low solar flux, but you amateur radio and emergency responders, you're not going to like the fact that the solar flux is going to tank here in the next few days, and probably by the beginning of next week we could be back into poor conditions for radio propagation. Now we're going to have to deal with this easily over the next week and possibly two weeks before we get a reprieve and get that solar flux boosted again. Now also because we are at solar minimum, we do have a higher cosmic ray impingement than we normally would have. So you frequent flyers, and this includes air crew who fly over 800 hours annually and fly at high latitudes and high altitudes, you are in the marginal range for radiation dose, and this does include you prenatal passengers. So please take this into consideration in your flight plans. So space weather this week is definitely calming down. We're still getting hit by small sporadic pockets of fast solar wind from these tiny remnant coronal holes that we're seeing on the sun, but it's really not amounting to much. So your aurora photographers, you're probably not going to get much of a chance to see aurora. It will be pretty elusive, but never fear, because this week we are going to be hit by the Lyrid meteor shower, so you can still point your camera skyward. Just be sure to stay away from that very bright full moon that's going to be passing us right around the 20th and the 21st. Now, meanwhile, back on the sun, we have region 2738 that's going to be rotating off the sun's west limb, and it's going to take that solar flux with it. Now, this makes GPS users quite happy because you should be able to enjoy some decent reception with the so low solar flux on the Earth's day side. But amateur radio and shortwave radio, along with emergency responders, well, it looks like we're going to be dropping into poor radio propagation conditions on Earth's day side easily for the next week, and I hate to say it, probably the next two weeks before we might get a reprieve and we can boost that solar flux back up for you. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.